President Yoon Sok Yol ordered the government Tuesday to quickly send rescue workers and medical supplies to quake hit Turkey. Yoon's instruction came a day after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck southern Turkey and Syria. According to the presidential office, Yoon ordered the dispatch of rescue personnel using military aircraft to assist Turkey with the damage from the earthquake, and to swiftly move to send emergency medicine and medical supplies. He instructed the government to cooperate closely with the Turkish authorities through the foreign ministry and South Korea's diplomatic missions in the country. Yoon also extended his condolences in an early morning tweet Tuesday, writing, My heart goes out to the people of Turkey and Syria during this difficult time. Korea sends our deepest condolences to those who have lost their loved ones. We stand ready to assist Turkey, a brotherhood forged in blood during the Korean War, in any way possible. South Korea plans to more than double its foreign exchange trading hours and allow offshore firms to participate in the market, in line with efforts to attract more investment from overseas. Under the plan, South Korea will extend the operating hours of its foreign exchange market, which currently runs for six and a half hours from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., to 17 hours to close at 2 a.m. the day after. The government plans to implement the new trading hours as early as the second half of 2024 after a six-month pilot run. It will also seek to extend the trading hours around the clock down the road, depending on preparations by the banking industry. Ultra-fine dust advisories were issued in parts of the capital and central areas and others on Tuesday. The advisories went into effect in parts of the western port city of Incheon, the central city of Sejong, Gyeonggi Province, South and North Chungcheong Province and North Jela Province. As of 8 a.m., the level of ultra-fine dust, particles smaller than 2.5 micrometers in diameter, stood at very bad at over 75 micrograms per cubic meter in Sejong and South Chungcheong Province. Throughout the day till 9 p.m., Emergency fine dust reduction measures will be implemented in affected areas, requiring heavy fine dust emitters and construction sites to readjust or cut down operating hours. The ultra-fine dust is expected to start clearing away Wednesday afternoon, 